Okay, so, so far, what we know is Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, <clears throat> his houses have been raided, or is there one in LA and one in Miami or something like that, I don't know. Either way, they've gotten raided by the Homeland Security, mind you. Um, a few months ago, his former, I guess she was his girlfriend at one point, her name is Cassandra, I believe, called Cassie. She was singing under that name. She put a lawsuit towards Sean Combe, got a settlement. She said that she was basically sexually assaulted and abused and so forth and so forth over so many years. Like, cringy, horrible details type of thing. And she got a settlement, and he, of course, says that he's not guilty of all of these unlawful things you're claiming he's done. That's the statement he put out, but just in general, because he's being accused by other people other than just her. So he felt the need to make that statement. But her case, I don't know if that's the reason why, but her case also spoke of her being passed around to other people type of thing. To where he had prostitutes, male prostitutes that would come in and he would film those prostitutes having relations with Case Cassie. And so there was there was a lot of accusation going towards Sean Combs. Now, with that being said, what he is being accused of is basically sex trafficking. They raided the house. He wasn't there. But some people were arrested. Or at least they were handcuffed, I'll say that. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, what in the world did they go in there and find that led to people being handcuffed? Because... Apparently, there are many people who are accusing him of all kinds of things within the industry. You know, sexual assault and grooming and rape and like a whole bunch of things. But also, on top of that, there is a record, possibly, of these types of things. People got dates and people got this and, mind you, that's probably what Homeland Security is and they're looking for. Like literal people and then probably literal documents of some sort. So we're going to take a look and see what Puff Daddy's future looks like in the next few months. Because I don't see how... It's his house. So I don't see how he isn't the target of all this. So... They must have reason. We're talking Homeland Security here. Not the local police department. Homeland Security. So there's a case that was being built. This is why I brought up the Cassie thing. Like, is there a case being built for this? And I don't know if her records or her testimony or her case or whatever helped or sprung all this forward or what. But this is... This is I said this too. He is the person that I have heard the more, the most rumors about than anybody in Hollywood, like, combined. Not Whitney and drugs, not Michael Jackson and kids, like, Sean Combe, period. He's, he's been that person I've heard the most rumors about. So let's look. Oof. Wow. <laughs> ooh, ooh. They're not done. They're not done with looking for stuff or raiding stuff or... Something of that nature, too. I don't... He... A rumor has it. I don't know where he is. Rumor has it. He was not at the... The locations that they raided. That he is somewhere in the Caribbean. This is... This is... This is the world card. This is... Or not the world card, but it's in house world. Which means... Knight of Swords in house world... There may be some trying to escape somewhere. Um, I don't know if he's doing that already, but keep an eye on him if I were them. But anyway, let's see. Oof. 
Oof. <laughs> Let us see. So I'm get the glare off of it. No. Okay. Well, we'll sit this way. How about that? So, Puff Daddy Diddy Daddy, what do we have here? Puff Daddy Diddy Daddy. So, we start in House Full. There's Grief, Sorrow, Loss, and Regret, <coughs> which, of course, there would be. Or should be, I should say. The Fool does present in the tableau, which means that this is indeed significant. There will be grief. It may not all be his, though, either. There are some people that may have the courage to come forward. Why? Because the Fool is in House Hermit. Hermit is about looking deep within or investigations. Um, he could have some coming to Jesus moments, too. <clears throat> Do look for... A statement from Puff Diddy Daddy about, I'm not perfect, you know, God loves me, redemption type thing. Why? So you have the Five of Cups and House Fool, so, and then the Fool presents in the Reap. So you have the um, Hermit, which is introspection as well. So this Full new message, new introspection. He could be looking within, too, because this is a card of regret. Something you're sorry you've done. But, when you look in the temperance, which is where reconciliation, and you're wearing your heart on your sleeve, or forgiveness <clears throat> would lie, there's the magician. Magician is manipulation. Skill, power, and talent. Good with words. Manipulation since it's in the presents in the re, let's go over here to Justice in House Magician, which means he's manipulating something for legal purposes. So he is trying to appear to repair his character. If you go where Justice should be, where's the Emperor? The Emperor is status, the man. This is him in the read. So he is in legal trouble trying to repair his image, but it is a manipulation. If you go where the Emperor was, you have the Page of Cups. This is the literal heart on the sleeve. We're trying to use, like he is right now, if you go to his Twitter, it's full of his pictures of his grandchild. And so he's trying to look like, you know, Mr. Rogers. He wants to clean up the image and wear the heart on the sleeve and show you he's a sensitive person who would never do such a thing like this. So keep that in mind, all from that grief right there. <clears throat> There's the Justice, the Devil, the Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Six of Swords. There's a person coming forward who was underage, at least at the time. They may be a man now, since it's in-house Emperor. Um, but this is a man. This is something illegal. With these two cards here, the Justice and the Devil card, the Devil is in-house High Priestess. So this is something secretive. Um... And it was possibly done in teams or teamwork or, you know, orgies or things like that, too. So, keep that in mind. <clears throat> but this person was underage at the time. And maybe not 15, 16. Could have been 16, 17. 17 going on 18 type of thing. But they were underage at the time. And I know there's quite a few young men who have already accused. And so that person, whoever this is here, is coming forward. They bring truth, though. There's a truth young person coming forward. The Six of Swords is a very rough transition, though. And they may be under counsel of, like, uh, people older in their family or even religious leaders, Six of Swords and House Hierophant, that they went forward to talk to government people because he's in House Emperor, which would be status as well. So he came forward to talk to people in the government under the counsel of older people in his life. Uh, the Nine of Wands, the Death Card, the Queen of Swords, the Fool, and the Eight of Pentacles. There is a woman under pressure here to um, 
release records or work or paychecks or check stubs for some reason. Um, or banking records or something like that. So this is more check stuff I'm getting. Nine of Wands is pressure. Um, strain. Not burden, but just pressure. You're under pressure. And it's in the house lovers. This is um, somebody that would be on his side. So not necessarily somebody that sympathizes with him, but somebody that could just work with him. Um, the death and the queen of swords. So the change comes for her. There's pressure, change, woman. And she may be a person, again, who is in administration or some legal capacity, too. So they may be looking for his bank statements or some kind of records just because this has something to do here because the full beginning investigation is in house hermit eight of pentacles is work and then it's in house well of fortune which governs working in checks and records and money and things of that nature and so there's maybe some pressure for some woman to release financial records or information uh, maybe even, yeah, things like that. Let's see, if, like if he bought a ticket to this place, if he bought a ticket, that type of thing, I think is more so what they're looking for. There's a lot of it, though. This is why they're strained. So they want, they're going back years if they can. They want to, they want a pattern of behavior or they want to establish something. So they, they want a lot of records, like a whole bunch. Because they're looking for a pattern, a repetition. Something that happened every year or every month, some type of thing. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of repetition, where you do that same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Um, the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Chariot. There is a man here, that's him, Sean Diddy Daddy. And the Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Chariot. This is manipulation of people around him, especially people who worked for him. I know his bodyguard has got a lot of info and seen a lot of stuff. This is also groundskeepers, housekeepers. Anybody like that that saw a bunch of things that are happening, um, there are stories of, you know, he would take a shower in front of people and walk around with no clothes on top. I mean, it's his house, but... You're there for business. You didn't think this was going to happen. So it was one of them Harvey Weinstein's meet you at the door with my robe open type thing. So he's got some people around him that need to give up some testimonies and things of that nature too. Chariot is in house devil. Devil is in house high priestess. So there's like secret things that they saw, but they're evil and, and illegal indeed. The death card is in house chariot. And so... <clears throat> This is like teamwork, changes of teamwork, or changes of shift change, something like that. These people that would go in and out, so these are people who would work there, they have a lot of information. The Five of Swords presents in-house death, which means that this is also someone who was under duress, or NDA, or something of that nature. Um, I'm going to say more duress than NDA, because I don't think they signed an NDA. I think they were more like threatened, that you don't say anything or you don't do anything, because there's stress right there. So this is like a person who is threatening. The Emperor is technically a good card, because it's the father, it's the authority, that type of thing. For me, personally, it is not as a person drunk on power and lust. And so you have the stress, the worry, the bully, the manipulator, and then you have the team. Um, there's also something around buying people expensive gifts like cars and things to try to manipulate how they feel. They're there too. Um, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Star, the Ace of Cups. There is someone with a child here too. This is birth, that's family. This is in Hell's Tower. Um, this person is deceased. Connected to the family. There is a woman here, deceased. <clears throat> this child here also has a story of some sort. 
they seen things or they seen pictures of things. Um, they have an experience to tell, whatever it is, that person there. Um, but this is going to be exposed. There's a whole group, and right now there's a bunch of people trending on Twitter because their name has been associated, kind of like the Epstein files type of thing. Like Prince Harry's name is on a list with Puff Daddy Diddy because all these people met with him at some point at the house parties and all, like T.D. Japes, his name is there. Like all of these people met with him at some point. Um, that doesn't mean they did anything, but at the same time, it's a name to put in a headline so that you get some clicks and views type thing. So, there is the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. There's something built up here. The list. The, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a bunch of people. There could be like 34 pages of names type thing. It is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people. Celebs. It's in-house star. Star presents in the read, which means this is important. It is a bunch of them. And there is an indication, or there is reason to believe, that these people participated. You see, they're right under the devil, devil death, or devil change, anxiety. And then there's the bunch of people. It's in House Star. Star also presents in the read in House Sun, which means exposure. Not just exposure, double exposure. There could be pictures. And the star is the card where there's nothing to hide. So there will be some people who will be deemed innocent. So it's not a total indictment on the entire list. The star is in House Sun. So there will be some innocence proclaimed for some people. But there will also be some exposure, too, of these people. So this is, if the list is, say, 34 pages long, and there are 800 names in it, you may have 10 or 15 that were actually guilty of something. So it's not the majority, but it is a lot. It's a lot more than it should be. Should be zero, but it's, it's a list of people there. Um, the Justice, the Nine of Wands, the Emperor, and the Ten of Cups. He is under a lot of pressure, but so far, this is the case being brought against him, because he is in-house Justice. Justice is in-house Magician, Magician in-house Temperance. So far, I do not see him meeting his um, end in this court case. So far. I don't believe, however, you are going to find a whole bunch of stuff and then just let him walk off scot-free. Something is going to get him, because he's in-house justice, but this here is not guilty. But this here is in-house tower. Tower is upheaval. So he loses a lot of support, is basically what that says, because his support is changed here and here. The lovers and the chariot, the lovers are people on your side, chariot are people, teamwork. That's change, ending, strain. And so he doesn't have a lot of people to pull strength from. Um, so he is going to lose a lot of support, but again, this does not say guilty just yet. But if you ask me... It is. Why? Because if you go to completion, which is the world card, you have the Knight of Swords, which means there's going to be more raids. There's, or there's going to be more, and not necessarily even physical raids, because this is, the, the swords are all mental, so it could be, like I said here, a records thing. I, I need digital things, I need telephones, I need computers, I need to, I need, I need, I need to get past the firewall, I need to get past, you know, all that type of stuff. There's more of that coming. It's not done. It's not complete. There's more of that coming because more evidence leads to more evidence. And so this is something that's going to keep going and keep going and keep going. House Judgment, which is where things repeat, is the Ace of Cups, which means there's another person that's going to be added to all this. And that person may be um, spiritual in nature as well, at least on their Twitter. Um, not necessarily a pastor or anything like that, but they could be spiritual in nature, as in they, they post a lot of Bible quotes or something like that, but that person is quite manipulative, and it may be a woman. Devil, Queen of Swords, manipulation, person, new person. 
as a new person we don't we didn't hear in the situation so there's somebody coming here um, the devil the death card the nine of swords and the seven of pentacles um, Lord there's those bunches of people there's those names underneath the devil um, it's so strange too I just found a song the other day that I, I find it so interesting I like the song it's called secrets I believe and a line in the song says two can keep a secret if one of them is dead and there's someone here who's got a lot to say but they're no longer here this person worked with him though they too were a celebrity at some point but this is a long time ago but what they did then is still being celebrated now because um, the devil is in house high priestess but this person had dual image like they were one thing in public and the other thing in private like like but it's it's dual image as in like their sexuality was was different in in private and what is not notorious that's that's not who this is this somebody else their their either their sexuality or their gender identity like they were wanted to be they were somebody different when nobody was looking type thing that person's no longer here and but they did something either a movie or album or a book or something because they're connected to him because this is in house star which means they were a celebrity and a successful one but what they did then is still being enjoyed now so people still read the book or people still listen to the music or the movie still plays and when the marathons on BET somewhere or something like that so there's something like that going on there the nine of swords is in house hangman he doesn't know how this is going to end and he is actually going to be this is where I kind of lead towards him being guilty the nine of swords is in house hangman hangman is how do I say it? conviction I don't want to say the word execution it's more conviction so this is where I would kind of look if I wanted to see if a person is going to lose the court case is here or here but since he presents in-house justice and justice is in magician and magician is in temperance this is like a plea deal type of thing but there's some guilt here because this is shame and then it's in-house hangman which is where you have oh, and the hangman presents in the read I didn't even notice and it's in-house moon moon is plots and schemes and secrets so there you go so it is very significant this guilt this shame I think he does feel something here because now he's caught he does feel some shame and some guilt and some remorse now I think personally you know too little too late but that's just me being judgmental but he does feel some of that here because the walls are closing in now and I think he thought that he could live high on the hog forever and people were going to always be afraid of him but that's not what's happening it seems Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Hangman. This woman here um, has a lot of knowledge. She's got a lot of info because this is clarity and truth. She is prepared to... You're going to have to threaten her in order to get information. I'm not saying she's threatened to go or she's prepared to go down, but she is prepared to fight back not against Puff Daddy Daddy but against the authority because she's in house strength so she thinks she can overcome this type of thing but five of swords is in house death death is in house chariot chariot is in house devil devil's in house high priestess so she doesn't have anything to stand on except plots and schemes and it's all coming out so it's not a thing that she can hide behind it'd be different if nobody knew it again two can keep a secret if one of them is dead no she can't hide behind because there's too many people that are about to be exposed and so she's going to be one of them right there queen of swords five of swords that's defeat defeat is in house death death is about change and endings so this is an ending to her and then she's going to be convicted as well for the plots and schemes and secrets 
as well as him. And again, the same person is under a lot of pressure. And there's manipulation of money, bank records, also paying some child or paying some child's mother here too. That's one thing that's also going to be in there. Some mother was or received the check or maybe she's the one that received the car or something expensive for the sake of the child because what he would do allegedly is find a single mother with a young child and groom the child basically it looks like a what you call a mentorship type of thing like well you know we'll help little bobby become a man and then they take him and do all this mess and so there's some sort of money or gifts that was given to a mother here for the sake of the child so the page of cups the fool the magician and the star um there is someone who brings some very very surprising news it's like a documentary or surviving puff daddy they did survive in r kelly didn't they and r kelly was trending the other day so there is something here around someone making a i don't want to say documentary but i'm gonna say documentary because it's not really this video anyway documentary about the manipulations and the things that were going on and so there will be some testimonies and things of that nature there it's going to be widely received so this is something that is going to make the news news type of thing because it has um six of swords the eight of pentacles the chariot and the ace of cups there's someone trying to help him though this is a religious leader or a leader in a country that is ruled by religion this person's trying to help him and maybe because they're caught up in the thing too chariot is in devil devil is teamwork or chariot is teamwork and devil is devil um that person's trying to help them though six of swords in house hierophant hierophant is rules and standards and religions and conformity that type of thing or religious leaders because that's the pope now the popess which is the high priestess right there so there's a religious thing going on with him here with those three cards there's a religious leader that is helping him or trying to help him escape and abscond or something of that nature so keep an eye on that because this is indications of travel too so there's someone of a religious nature trying to help him Ciao. puff diddy daddy let me let me let me let me wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute I'll just use these what should he be doing right now spirits advice what should he be doing right now yeah <laughs> If you don't get somewhere and sign out, find you a sale and just stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What should he be doing right now? There's a. F it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I were doing a personal reading for Puff Diddy Daddy, let me let me let me approach this from my from my from my standpoint that I'm supposed to have to be a, a help to him spiritually. I, I don't have to do nothing, but 
If I'm going to pull the cards, then read the cards. Okay, so what should he be doing right now? Um, shrinking your circle because there's too many eyes and ears around you. Because um, somebody is trying to backstab. Literally. And so you need now people that you can trust. Um, the burden is there. Okay. Here's, and here's what I'm saying. I'm not saying as in find people to help you lie. You need people to help you um, cor correct this, if you will, as in bear your soul and take the consequence. Justice is in your environment, which means you're not going to escape this, okay? Every, it's over, pal. What you need right now is a repair team, but what you also need is to shrink your circle because everybody around you is not... Um, they're not interested in you repairing things. They want to see you fizzle out and burn. And I cannot blame them because of who you were to them. So, the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, again, there is a path forward that you need to find. Mind you, none of this has nothing to do with religion. So, we're not saying you need to pray to God and all this type of stuff. I think you turned your back on that a long time ago. God has always been in the same place, though. So, God never leaves you. You have to return to Him type thing just for, for that message, but there's an abundance of problems coming, you need to do the mea culpa thing, and you know what, do what you want to do, how about that, do what you want to do, according to people, you have caused a lot of harm for a lot of years, according to my tableau, you're not the nicest person in the world, and so I wish you nothing but the worst. And what you need to do right now is hope and pray you ain't standing by no window when the strong wind comes. So, I guess we shall see.